Hey, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, got another one on the screen right now. She is from New York. Tess, give us a little bit of your background, name, where you're from, a little bit about your softball background. Okay, I am originally from Minnesota, and then I moved to Buffalo, New York when I was young, and I've been playing softball for a very long time. I've, I've, I think ever since I moved or before that. Um, I live about 20 minutes from Niagara Falls, and I'm a senior. So let me, let me ask this. You, you made a comment about something that you've heard on, a, on an interview earlier, that all the Dutch girls are tall. They're 5'11", 6 foot, 6 foot 1. And you are? 5'11". So you're 5'11". And, yeah. and you, uh, by any chance, do you have blue eyes? No. Okay. I wish. <laughs> so they'll, so they'll, never re, they'll never think of you as Dutch. But you will be able to look most of them in the eye, which is pretty cool. Uh, what team are you on at the Cup? Velocity. And you know your coach's name? Coach Rich. That's right. You remember him. He's a super, super good guy. He's fun to be around. He's a little bit what we call a sergeant. He's been with us, I think, 19 years. Um, he is a little bit commanding. He wants to win. He never, he never will chew you out for something you've done that's wrong. He'll be behind you, so that's kind of a fun, cool thing. Uh, you're playing first base at the Cup, right? Right. But tell us your other skills. I have been pitching for since I was 10, and uh, I get, I'm a good hitter. <laughs> so we've got, we got offense on our mind here, because keep in mind, the Dutch are really, really, really good, so we've got to bring the offense, and that's one feature you bring to us is a good offensive player. Uh, give us a couple of your hobbies. What do you do as a hobby? Um, I do photography. I played volleyball, but now I'm a senior, so that ended. I am a babysitter. So are, you good, are you any good at that? I think so. I mean, <laughs> I hope. Well, it's funny. They make movies of babysitters. I think I remember one that they took out the kids and got them in a mess. Did you, have you done anything like that with your kids that you sit for? It was def That movie was definitely about me. That, that was about you? It was about me, based okay. off of your story. Uh, we have to remember that when you're watching the babysitter movie, it's all about Tess Sunderland. She is the, the movie queen here. So, so tell me, when we, go to, when we go to the Netherlands, what are you looking forward to do or eat or have or go to? Well, I'm looking forward to not being the tallest there because I'm taller than most of my friends. That's and good. you said I'm taller than most of the rest of the people. <laughs> That's probably true. Yeah. And I'm just looking forward to being in a different place. I've gone to South America before, and it was interesting seeing how different that is from, you know, how I live, and now I get to experience here. So that's going to be kind of cool. We're going to be ending up in Paris. What are you expecting out of Paris? Where do you want to go? What do you want to see? I'm expecting the Eiffel Tower to be there. It, so probably, will be. it probably will be. Yeah, and I'm excited. Hopefully, if we see it lit up, maybe. I don't know. I think we'll have the day to explore Paris. Yeah. And then the food, for sure, because I everything, Europe and food is great. French fries, for sure. That's right. That's actually a bit of a Dutch thing. So remember that. That's really more Dutch than it is French. Yeah. Um, so your mom's not coming with us. No. And um, so I guess we talked a little bit earlier about getting a matching tattoo for you and mom. And now it only have, doesn't even have to be matching. You can do whatever you want, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I bet your mom's listening to this. She's going to put a hex to that in a hurry. <laughs> well, she... She can't control what I do in Europe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to be a part of that. So you got to talk to your mom. But I will say this. We've had a few Pinterest fails, if you might call that, on the tattoo mother-daughter things. They went together and they got one matching, but one didn't match as well as the other one. And it's pretty funny. So on that note, we don't want any of that to happen. So anyhow, we are only some weeks away from leaving. Are you getting excited? I'm very excited. Are you are you ready to pack? Is is packing on your on your list of things to do? Yes, for Christmas I'm actually going to Minnesota, and then I'm home for a week, and then I pack during that week, and then I leave again. So I'm excited because so that's good. So um, and are you are you are you an iPhone girl? Do you take pictures and put them on Facebook or Instagram or? Yes, except this past week actually I lost my home button. If you can see it. It's oh my gosh. 
So I'm going out to Minnesota and getting a new phone, hopefully with really good pictures. Oh my gosh, are you, are you are getting the X, right? The iPhone X? Mm, it's very expensive. So I think I'll have to talk my dad into it maybe. Well, let me, if you need any help, I can be your agent in that, right? Get that, okay? All right. All right, but don't expect me to have it when I go because okay. I don't think I'll get it. Well, anyhow, hey, Tess, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in a few weeks and uh, tell your mom good luck. I know she's gone through some tough stuff on the cancer side. I'm a, I'm a, a survivor from that. Uh, we got a lot of survivors out there. We pray a lot, and we we'll, we'll got your mom on that prayer list, too. So uh, uh, we're going to pray her through this so that she can enjoy life like she wants to enjoy it. A little tough time now, but we're going to help her get through that. Anyhow, thank you, Tess. Thank you.